Well, Americans received nearly 5 billion robocalls in the first quarter of 2018. They are the annoying phone calls made to your cell or landline by machine. Yes, human sounding bots answer when you pick up, try to keep you on the phone long enough for a real person or a scammer or someone to try to get you to buy something, send them something, do something you probably don't want to do or shouldn't do. Yes. <laughs> Amy, D Daisy Davis is here. Daisy she called us Davis. earlier. Yeah. I know. How many times have you guys heard from Daisy from card services this month? Maybe she's healthcare services. If she interrupted you during work, dinner, or while you were on another call, one time is too many. But there are some apps that will keep Daisy out of your hair. Hello? 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 I'll pick up my phone, and if I hear the automated call, then I'll just hang up immediately. And that's what most people Hello. do, but still, it gets old. Now you can install apps that will recognize phone numbers used by robocallers and intercept them before your phone rings. The app RoboKiller won the Federal Trade Commission's 2015 contest for the best tech to help stop robocalls. RoboKiller identifies robocalls and redirects them instead of you answering the call. Hello? You can choose from dozens of answer bots to pick up, frustrate, and waste the time of the robocaller, like this one. Congratulations. I know you called me, but this is going to surprise you, but you've actually reached Radio BC, and you are the winner of our cruise contest. That's right. You've won, and you and a significant other will be going to the Bahamas on us. You're on the air right now. What's your name, sir? A robo-killer costs $2.99 a month, and some users claim it blocks more than 90% of those spam calls. But if you don't want to pay anything, try TrueCaller. This app is free if you can tolerate some ads for the basic version. It identifies the person or company calling before you pick up, even if you don't have the number stored as a contact. And it blocks unwanted calls the app has identified as robocalls. So the FCC recently ordered phone companies to step up their efforts to protect consumers from unwanted robocalls. The chairman specifically told cell providers to find a way to stop robocall spoofing. That's the practice of showing a different mm -hmm. number in the consumer's caller ID. He told them to stop that by the end of 2019. You got a full year to try to keep doing it. Yeah. 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 You can't stop it immediately. They say they've got the technology to do it. They just need to get on it. Implement. Get on it. All yeah. right. Meanwhile, I'm going to download those apps. <laughs> Thank you, Amy.